Well, we are taking a moment to pause and to reflect because today marks 22 years since the deadly terror attacks here in the U.S. On this September 11th, it's a day of remembrance. That's going to be a little bit different for two families who were affected by the attack. New York City officials have now identified the remains of a man and a woman who died. They've done that through DNA testing. So these two represent the 1,648th and 49th victims who have been identified. It's really shocking to think that more than 1,000 people are still unidentified. Today, Metro Atlanta is remembering the nearly 3,000 lives that were lost that day. Atlanta News First Bridget Spencer joins us live from the Atlanta Police Zone 3 Precinct with a look at those events that are going to be happening so that folks can reflect and remember this day. Good morning, Bridget. Good morning, Brooks. Plenty is happening today. Actually, there are some events that already kicked off yesterday. The Marietta Fire Department was one of those organizations that held a stair climb yesterday. Take a look. They met at a parking deck at Marietta Square. They did 16 laps on that parking deck. It would add up to be 110 stories of stairs. Now, this is the same amount of those brave firefighters the day when they climbed up the World Trade Center. They took 110 flights of steps. So this is the second time the Marietta Fire Department put on this event. There were participants from both the fire department as well as regular civilians. Now the experience really provided some perspective on what those firefighters faced that day. For me, it's remembering back to what those firefighters would have been going through that day, thinking, are they going to get out of this alive? Can they save these people? How many people can they get out? And then thinking back, you know, their, their family, their wife and their children had to flash it in their eyes. Now, the city of Atlanta, they're going to be recognizing one of their own from Zone 3 today with an award ceremony, recognizing first responders. That's happening at 1145 today. And if you're a little further south, if you're in Stockbridge, be sure to visit the City Hall steps today for their 9-11 ceremony. Admission, of course, is free. All you do is just walk on up. And the Georgia Military College in Middle Georgia, they're hosting a Patriot Day at their campus in Milledgeville. That's a little bit earlier. That's happening at 740, just a few minutes away from that. Um, Lots of events happening, not only in Metro Atlanta, but across the state. The city of LaGrange, they are also hosting something similar to what Marietta Fire did. They're going to be holding a stair climb later on. So lots to honor the fallen happening here in Metro Atlanta and across the state. For now, we're live in Atlanta. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.